Okay. We shooting, we set up. Let's do this. Guys, uh, I'm gonna throw the headphones on. I live on a main road. Gotta use that good microphone as well, just to get that audio to you. Uh, I'll move this stuff out of the way because at the moment, it's blocking the view. There is a lot of packages here. I didn't really know how to do all this stuff. Didn't know how to review it all. And then I thought, maybe I should just do like 10 new items that have come in because it's been piling up and I thought, it will probably be good to share this with the subscribers, maybe give you guys some ideas. There will be links down in the description. It does help the channel out. I get a tiny little cut as you do from affiliate links. Most of you probably already know that. The pile is pretty good. Everything is fairly new and I haven't unboxed a lot of it. I've kind of had a look at some of the things, but I haven't really played with too many of them. So let me get this out of the way. We'll get it out of the way and we'll start off with the first thing, which will be this Benchmade bug out. All right, there are items from everywhere. Alpaca, Belroy, Memo Bottle, Wuburn, uh, Tactica. So stay tuned for all of that. First thing that I'm going to talk about is this Benchmade. We've got a top-down camera as well. My favorite knives, the bug out or the mini bug. Either or, don't really care. This is the model 535GRY slash one, or in layman's terms, it is the OD green version. Now, I've been carrying it for about two or three days now. As you guys know, Benchmade always puts them in these little dust type of bag thingos that you never end up using for anything else. And here we have the clip, which I've taken off already. You guys know that I'm not really a clip person. As soon as a knife comes through the door, I'll take the clip off and this is the knife. Let me get that zoom in a little bit more. There we go, fantastic. As you can see, this is the bug out. There is a smaller version of this called the mini bug out. It is extremely popular knife. They are expensive, but you get what you pay for. S30V steel, got this beautiful gold accent with the OD green and this kind of a blade. I don't know what you would call this kind of Cerakote, Cerakoted blade. And uh, they don't really weigh a lot. They're a lot of fun to fidget with, extremely sharp. And Benchmade is one of those companies that that a lot of EDC guys love. So the next product is this A7 Memo bottle. They have actually moved from the plastic bottles. I think they still sell the plastic bottles. I actually have one of the larger ones. It's in my Woten Craft bag. And they've moved into these metal ones, which you can, you know, reuse and stuff like that. They are trying to be more environmentally conscious. I feel like this bag you can put in a compost bin and it'll dissolve so it's not plastic. The other part of the packaging, of course, is cardboard. Now, what does it say up here? BPA free, hot and cold liquors, dishwater safe, 304 stainless steel. That's all I'm going to read out. But yeah, it is quite a small little bottle. And I'm going to tell you in a minute why I bought this. It actually goes with one of the other items. And as you can see, it is built extremely well down to the cap. It keeps things hot. You can have your coffee near in the morning. The only thing about these bottles is when I was carrying my other one, the plastic one, which is a little bit bigger than this, people think that it's alcohol. I pulled it out in front of my mum. We went to a birthday lunch, I guess, at this German restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants. And I pulled out the plastic one and my mum was like, what is going on? Why are you drinking vodka in the middle of the day? So I feel like <laughs> people misunderstand. And every time I took a sip on the train as well, people were kind of looking at me going, why is that guy drinking out of a hip flask? So some people don't know about Memo Bottle, but yeah, definitely a great product. I love their designs. I think they're actually Australian as well. So that's pretty cool. This is the A7 and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one. The next product is this Wuben G2 torch. Now let's have a quick look at it. It comes with a USB type C, which is quite nice. And this is why you need a knife everywhere that you go. So you can attach it to your key ring. You can take it off your key ring and just use it as a torch, as you can see. And also, if you don't want to use this part, you can take it off here. You literally just take off this metal bit and this plastic bit will pop out and then you just throw this back on. And then you can throw on this clip just like so. Now, when you got the clip on there, you can put it on your hat 
like that. So it's shining down at your hands. You look a little bit goofy, but what are you going to do? And then also with the clip, you can clip it onto your pocket too. So it has USB type C, like I said, and then four different variations, I guess. And it, it's pretty bright, actually. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then if you double tap it, it goes mad bright. Like this is crazy. For such a small little torch, this is crazy. So yeah, you just hold it down and it puts it back into that mode. Wubin G2, absolutely fantastic. There'll be a link in the description for this. Shout out to Wubin for sending a couple of their products out as well. So the next item that we're going to look at is this Tactica screwdriver, which you're probably thinking, what is going on with this screwdriver? But have a look at how smart this design is. Shout out to the Tactica team for sending this out. As you guys can see, a little bit of information on the back. You got that bottle opener, high torque socket, universal wrench, which is that stuff in the middle there. Uh, secure storage chamber, which you can also put another bit in here. Engineered composite, package opener, metric imperial ruler, elastic insert, magnetic retention, heavy duty socket. So let's have a quick look at this right now. This is how tiny this is. So you can put it in your tech kit and you have all these little bits here. You got Phillips head, you've got Allen keys, you have a T10 so you can tighten your knife up. You also have Stanley and they all just go in this little bit here. If you don't want to carry the extra bits, you can basically just put one in there and then also you can put one in the top. This bit comes out and there's a bit underneath here. So yeah, a nice little multi-tool from Tactica. And who said that screwdrivers have to be bulky? Let's move on to this next item, which is from Monarch. Shout out to the team for sending me some stuff out. It says, for the planet, plastic negative, global recycle standard. So I like that they're sending it out in a cardboard packaging so you can recycle it. Then you have this inner dust bag slash sleeve. And you also have this wallet, which you can fit one, two, three, probably four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd say easily 10 to 12 cards. It's made of this crazy recycled material. And yeah, there's not really much to it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It's got this real minimal branding, which I really like. I always like it when companies do that minimal branding style. So shout out to the Monarch team. Thank you for sending that out. All right, next thing that we're going to move into is this admin pouch. This is one of my favorite pouches from our packer. I actually left the zip pulls on there because um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change them out. The patches are Pete's Pirate Life, the two owl packer patches. We have the NAFS patch, which is shout out to Ben Banters. And this patch here, I'm not really sure who did it. They are the Wii Banter scales, the Wii Nintendo Wii, they did it for the Wii Banter, which was quite clever. I actually sold those scales, but I kept the patch. So this I really like because here's another product from Tactica, another multi-tool. So this I love because I have my Parker Jotter. I have a Field Notes, which I mostly write my hip-hop stuff down. This is for the EDC channel and just some whiteout. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else in there. Oh, there is an air tag as well with the poo emoji. This is in the OD green, the admin pouch. There is a 15% link off for all our packer products. So if you're going to shop, there'll be a link down there where you can actually say 15%. So do that and uh, absolutely love it. Now, this brand, I don't really know much about Magnarista. They are on Amazon, so I will leave a couple of links down below. But I used to use a lot of these products when I was working. And I kind of said to him, you know, send me some stuff through. If I like it, I'll talk about it. If I don't, I won't. But I used to use a lot of these card swipers at my last job because they really do come in handy, right? So you can clip it onto your belt. This one here has a carabiner. So you can clip it onto your bag. And I just feel like it's made extremely well. Like it's it's not cheap you know like it's a not a well-known company but you can just tell like look at that the plastic isn't cracking you can just throw this on here and then you can swipe in and swipe out right so yeah these don't really cost a lot of money but i would highly recommend you guys 
looking into this kind of stuff if you use swipe cards for your job especially if you want them to be more industrial and uh, this is a key one I guess so we have just for your keys you can just take this plastic bit off if you want not really sure what that's for I guess you could put this on there if you wanted to right is that how it kind of works Okay, so if you wanted to attach your cards on there, you just use that plastic. If you don't and you just want your keys on there, you just use that. So that's that one. And I think this one's a little bit different because... So this one goes on your belt and this one attaches with a carabiner kind of just like that one. Except this one's metal and this one here is plastic. So the metal one's actually... Wow, this is real heavy duty. Look at that screw in there. So... Fantastic. Down to the last three products. This one I'm going to talk about real quickly. Actually, this is the Yeti 26 ounce, and this is the new colorway, which is the Camp Green. And uh, it's just really cool because, you know, I like those kind of colors, that OD Green kind of colorway. It's not OD Green. They do have an OD Green version of this, but... I kind of like this color because it was a little bit more, they kind of scaled it back a little bit. It does have that weird name, Camp Green, which is kind of, I don't know, it feels like it's referring to the LGBTQ community, which a lot of companies are doing these days. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care about that stuff. But yeah, that's the Camp Green Yeti. I have three of these right now. So I'm going to send one to my dad for Father's Day the yellow one, and I'm going to have the black one next to my bed, and this one here is in the office. And then in the lounge room, I actually have the really big one with the handle on there. I don't know how many ounces that one is, but it's quite large. So the new colorway, Camp Green. Okay, two more products to go, and they are both really good ones. Here's proof that a remake can be better. This bag's for 100% recycled plastic. So you, we're kind of seeing this reoccurring theme with a lot of these companies recycled plastics good for the environment and uh, so on and so forth city pouch eco pack and it is in black so this is from bellroy the eco pack as you can see i haven't used it yet so basically yeah when i go on walks and i go and take photos i have so much crap in my pockets i don't really like it like with my phone and the knife and then the camera Sometimes I have my sunglasses, I have my AirPods. So I was like, what if I actually got one of these small little bags and when I was going on my walks, I could just have everything in the one slot. Sometimes I actually don't pull the camera out at all. So just having it in your pocket and then like the phone in your other pocket. I was like, I need to get a little bit more organized. So that's what this is. Okay, what does it say? Recycled Innovation Eco Pack is a rugged, lightweight, technical fabric made by blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see what else it says in here. Comfortable carry, water resistant exterior, expansion, gusset, front zip pouch, rear slip pocket, internal organization, small device, storage, central storage. It's got a whole bunch of pockets basically, and it's Bellroy. Bellroy always does good things great little zipper pulls you got that exterior and the front you can put your house keys in there your airpods then you can put your expensive camera in here so it doesn't rub up against your other things like your phone or you know your airpods case you can put a pen in here it's got a pen slot as well little phone slot right there camera in the middle and then this is why i ended up getting this memo bottle because i was like damn i wonder if this would work with this Bellroy joint. So if I had the water bottle at the front there, because sometimes when I go on these photo walks, I kind of get sidetracked around my area and I stay out for like two hours and I get real thirsty and I'm like, dang, I could kill for some water. So there you go, being organized. This was actually on special for $99. They're usually about 170, 180 in Australia. So it was half price and that's why I ended up getting that. And on to the last little item, which we've got this Nike shoe box here. You guys know that I, maybe you don't know, I'm a little bit of a sneakerhead and uh, I don't like those expensive collaboration type Nikes, the off-whites and all that other crap that's like $2,000. I like to wear sneakers that are affordable because I'm going to absolutely thrash them. And Air Max 90s have been one of my favorite sneakers since the 90s. 
Hopefully you're getting a good view of those. We got this like velour on the side, white right there. I'm actually wearing a pair at the moment as well, which have kind of beat up because I've been taking them on walks. But yeah, that's the last item right there. Hey, EDC can mean everything. I'm not just knives and, and pry bars and pocket pouches. It can mean things that just make your life more easy. A lot of these things don't have to be overly expensive but you just have to put a little bit of thought into what you want to carry. Maybe some of you don't want to carry a knife, but maybe some of you are more like watch guys. So I've got my Tag Heuer on here, my Formula One. Think about what you need in your day and think about what would give you a little bit of style with the things that you carry. Like these Nikes, it's not really EDC, but... Sometimes you might be wearing these every day. So it's like everyday wear, E-D-W. <laughs> Idiot. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I know it's probably going to be a long episode. There will be links down below. Like I said, thank you for hanging out with me. Everything will be time-coded. So if you miss something, then you can go skip back and forth, whatever. But yeah, till the next time, it's been your boy, Big Drizzlax. Thank you so much for chilling with me today. And uh, subscribe, like. Find me on Instagram. Do some of those things that help the channel out. I mean, pressing the like button is the least you motherfuckers could do.